If you go down to the woods today, you will find our hands-free hunter, Jamie Chandler. He's not here for a teddy bear's picnic, oh no. He's here to sort out a pesky squirrel problem. They have been ravaging his nuts. The pheasants are growing fast, and soon they will be taking flying lessons. Meanwhile, getting nice and fat for the winter are these grey greedy tree rats. It's not just about saving money on the pheasant food. Farmers and landowners are ordered by the government and asked very nicely by the Forestry Commission to keep on top of the ever-growing grey population. This not only puts a break on them wiping out the dwindling native red squirrels, but also stops damaging trees, crops, wild birds and also Jamie's nuts. To make sure that the job is done, Farmer Tom has come along too. This wood has to be maintained. It's, you know, that's what we've got to do, and that includes squirrel control. It is an important part of any bit of countryside management. As they settle down between the trees and the rain showers, let's answer a viewer's question. Just a, a bit of a, an answer to a question I got from a guy called Cameron in New Zealand. He sent me a Facebook message saying, do we require camouflage in the summer in England? I don't know. It's the simplest answer, I don't know what you think, Tom. I've got no idea. But to find out whether we require it or not, as you can see, we're barely camouflaged. We're both almost wearing identical outfits, although Tom's is much smarter. And um, we're 21, I think it is, 21 yards, maybe 22, away from the feeder over there, and pretty much in broad daylight. I mean, yes, I've got a camo cap on, but that's because it's the only one in the car. So Cameron, we're gonna find out if we get some squirrels, then no, we don't need camouflage. If we don't get some squirrels then yes we do need camouflage what i do know is in the winter yes you do especially with pigeons and stuff in the summer well certainly with pigeons but with squirrels don't know we'll find out well i hope that clears that up no well what about this well that one didn't see them but he knows that something isn't right and he's back only in a few minutes to try his luck again Sitting quietly even without camouflage sometimes grants odd rewards, like seeing this young family of deer popping through the woods only metres away. Back to the squirrels, and now there are two. But the last one still tries his luck. Another brilliant afternoon and dodging showers as well. So lucky with the weather, so lucky. It was throwing it down this morning. It really was, Yeah, it really was. So uh, Cameron from New Zealand's question, to be honest with you mate, today it made no difference, did it? No difference at all. Yeah, um, we could have been out there in, in bright yellow mankinis and I think the squirrels still came in. They had no interest in, in us being there. The deer, obviously that came snuggling through, didn't see us at all until we kind of made it obvious you were there. That fox, there was a fox, we didn't catch it on camera, but wow, that was seven yards from us chasing yeah, that man, pheasant? Yeah. That, yeah. Was, that was amazing, I haven't actually seen that. No, that was, that was, it was quite something actually. Yeah. Countryside stewardship. Protected, done a little bit, done yeah. our part today. Uh, protecting your shoot. Done a lot more, yeah. yeah. Keeping your grumpy keeper happy. <laughs> Never ending battle. <laughs> <laughs> Winners, <laughs> thank you very much. Brilliant. Superb.